begins with Dave Snell walking to the hospital. He walks past the medical rooms up, and eventually he arrives. Meanwhile, inside the hospital, I can't believe they did this to my baby. One of the women thinks, hey, I swear I'm going to sue the hospital. You can't do that, dear. Why? He signed the release. Well, well, he's going to stop being a neutral. You can't do that, dear. Why not? Because... Be because because of because he's an he has equal rights to an adult. Well, well, I'll do something. I swear his death will be on your hands, you stupid medical ninja. I'm sorry, but your son only has mere hours to live. Hours? You gotta be kidding me! I swear he survives this. I'm gonna find somewhere to sue you guys. Then immediately, hold on, hold on. I've been called to a summoning. I'll be right back. Suddenly, Jean and Vance is gonna arrive. We got here as soon as we heard the news. Who are you guys? We're Monty's friends. Friends? Our son has friends? They think to themselves. Yeah, of course. They must be on Monty's squad. Squad, yes. We've come to check on him. You see, okay? Okay, and according to their doctors, you only got mere hours to live. Suddenly, David Sion then also arrives. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was that David Sion? You mean the kid that Monte used to bully? He's Monty's friend too? Too? Wow. Oh my god. His head. He's wearing a ninja headband. Wait, they're telling me he became a ninja? Last I saw him, he couldn't even do a decent transformation. Now he's a ninja now? Last I saw him, he couldn't even do a decent transformation. Suddenly, one of the ninja didn't know. Yeah, right, right, right. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. Sorry, sorry when Monty beat you up at the team exams. I'm sorry for the injuries you might have got. Actually, I actually I won the fight. Dave Sion says, and they both look, and they all begin to laugh their butts off. Yeah, right. You, you actually beat me, Monte. Hysterical, I think to himself. Actually, Vance says, whoa, 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 whoa. You're telling me Dave Sion actually won? Well, Dave's son is really weak compared to us, but believe it or not, he actually beat Monte, as shocking as it is. Believe me, I didn't want to believe it either, Jane says. Oh, wow. Wow, this kid couldn't even do the trick from Richard Jutsu. Now he beat Monte? That's amazing, they think to themselves. Think son I actually beat Monte in the training exams? I mean, I heard he got injured, but I didn't think he lost the fight. Suddenly, a medical ninja comes in and explains that there is a powerful sealer with the last thing Uzumaki in the hidden sand village. Hidden sand village. Yes. But yes, and we and yes, it's a hidden sand ninja are coming on their way to escort the ninja to the hidden sand. Meanwhile, in the hidden Meanwhile in the hidden sand village, Ricky is teaching his little sister how to use a puppet. Alright, Josie. Alright, Josie. Alright, Josie. Do it. I can't do it, bro. It's too hard. Josie tells Rick. Oh, come on. Don't be a wuss. Come on. Just do it. Uh, I think I got it. Using our puppet, she then kicks Ricky in the nuts. And Ricky falls to the ground in agony. Yes, I finally controlled my puppet, she thinks to herself. I'm proud of you. Good job. Ricky says as he holds his nutsack. Suddenly, his mom comes in. Ricky, our friend has come to see you. What? You gotta be kidding me. Tell him to go away. Ricky says, no, come on. She says, fine. I'll be right back, Chosa. You got it, big bro. Ricky then comes out to see Michael. We're needed for a mission. Oh my god, a mission? I'm doing something important. Tell Gar to do it himself. So you know you can't do that. Ah, oh, fine. Well, well, I quit being an intro. Can I just say here? Yeah, it was your choice to become an intro, Rick. Now go and do your, and do your job. She says, fine, come on, Michael. They didn't run. They, they, they didn't run, and they get on their way to the hidden sand village. They can miss where I really don't want to do this. Be quiet, Rick, and show your respects to the Kazakage, fine. So Gar explains that their mission is to escort someone, and that they've been hired by Haley to bring a, med a sealing ninja to the hidden refillers. Uh, one of the ninjas has been sealed, so it requests the from us to save them. So we're doing the hidden village is home homework. All right, fine. Ricky thinks to himself, "What are you doing? That's so important, anyway." Michael says, "I was teaching my sister how to be a ninja. I'm more like teaching her how to be a failure." What did you say, punk? You would think you you can teach her? Please, you're the weakest one out of all of us. 
Who's weak? You're weak, but not me. Shut up, you piece of When suddenly there's Sensei, whose name is Kira, tells them to sop. Sop it, you two. Fine. Meanwhile, back with the medical suit in the who goes by the name who the last scene with Uzumaki, unseals someone. You see, this ninja has been sealed by enemy ninja. A tiger seal, huh? She immediately unseals him. Thank you so much. You didn't take the ninja away. Um, excuse me, Shira says. Are you the ninja we're supposed to be escorting? Oh, yes. The guard told me about you. So there's a ninja and enemy village I'm supposed to treat? Yes. And uh, right now, we need to go right now. All right, right now, they all didn't go. They, they all didn't begin to go to Hidden Leaf Fields. I mean, what's so special about this mission anyway? Ricky thinks to himself, be careful, Ricky. This is actually a B-ranking mission. A B-ranking mission? Ricky says, yes. People like this are talking all the time, and it's hard to predict who's after them. Just be on your guard, Kira says. Yeah, whatever. You should, you, should, you, should, you should be worrying about yourself, Ricky. You'll probably be the first one to die. Michael says, No, you'll be the first one to die. Die. Trust me, I'm going to be the reason you come home alive. No, I'll be the reason. They get ready to fight, but the sentry tells them to cut it out. Fine. <laughs> Are they always like this? The, the sling needs to think to herself. Unfortunately, yes. Meanwhile, back with for other ninja, the land of Sky Ninja already listen. The land of Sky Ninja is to bring this silly ninja goes over the last thing of Usamaki back. We are? Yes, that is your mission. Why do we need her? She her ceiling capabilities will be most beneficial. Don't worry, you'll figure it out as you go along. Alright. I mean they, they 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 continue to walk past the journey. I'm telling you, man, this mission is so boring. Ricky thinks to himself. Quit complaining, Michael. Michael says, trust me, if you're in a real battle, you'd be crapping yourself right now. I'm pretty sure you would do that. Do, do that. My god, they're going at each other. I know, it's getting old. Meanwhile, about put the land of Sky Ninja. Hmm, Ki it's him, Kira. Who's Kira? He he fought in the Four Quick Ninja War, and he got kicked in the face by Madara. They think to themselves, alright, I'm gonna finish him off in one swoop. Next art, an invisible paper bomb. He then makes the paper bomb invisible. They won't see this coming. Huh. Watch this. I'm gonna take care of them. They then throw a visible paper bomb. And suddenly Kira sees the air shifting. Huh. He then grabs the paper bomb and then throws it back. Back at the tree. And then he explodes, creating a giant explosion. Suddenly, it turns out to be an assault, and they all fall to the ground, and they look at the rest of the sand and stuff. What the? Who are you guys? They think to themselves. Huh. How did you know? I could tell by the wind shifting currents. Oh, my. Little children. Little guinea pigs, huh? Nah, you, you please, make their deaths short and quick. Can you do that for me, dear? You can you do that for me, people? You got it, sir. <laughs> Ricky thinks to him. So, your headbands, you're from the land of sky, he thinks to himself, Ricky, Ricky, Michael, Bernicky, protect the girl at all costs, got it? Yes, sir. Sir, he can put this out of freaking. This won't take long, he thinks to him. So, you little, you little kids have one chance to get out of here, and they sand their ground. <laughs> so, yourself, it's your funeral. Funeral. So you're Kira, huh? You fought in the Great Force Civil War. Yes, I did. He then pulls out a freaking and both of them look at each other. They didn't want each other. They begin to put their freaking towards each other. And they begin to fight each other. They then begin to fight each other over and over again. And eventually, he then tries to stab the man. Oh man. Remember to no survivors. Right. Michael then punches one of the girls away, and the other girl is going to come at Bernicky. Uh, Michael quickly catches both of her fists, and then he throws her back. Bernicky, protect the girl. Right. Don't worry, I'll keep you safe. She then pulls out a sword then. Meanwhile, Ricky then comes to fight the land of Sky Ninja. You have one chance to give up, sweetie. She says, you must have any confused with the Hidden Leaf Ninja. We're not as soft as they are, or, and we don't come from a sector village, unlike the land of Skywars, Ricky says. 
You're, oh, that's it. You're dead. Huh. He then makes a puppet. He is someone's little Ricky. Ricky probably takes spikes out of his hands and tries to sell the Nusha over and over again, but she just grabs it. But suddenly, the Nusha's mouth begins to open and it shoots multiple spikes at her. She then dodges back. Take this. Huh. So, Puppet Master, huh? The only way to be the Puppet Master is to cut off their strings. And the only way to be the Puppet Master is to cut off their strings. He just here makes an earth shell, earth spike. She then cuts off those puppet strings. My chakra puppet strings. Then she appears behind Ricky, punching him through the chakra spikes and taking him down. She then pulls out a shuriken. Meanwhile, back with Mike. Back with Michael. He then immediately uses it. Take this. The fuck the bomb. That doesn't look good. She then uses his hand to hit, to hit himself, and then he hits the shrug the bomb with his own hand. He then falls to the ground. Well, that takes care of that. She then guns after Nikki, but Nikki takes out a freaking, but then she gets punched back. I won't go down for the fight, Uzumaki says. She tries to hit the girl, but the girl immediately takes her down. Meanwhile, she then takes the girl out. Now, okay, look, here's what's gonna happen. They continue to fight, and eventually they come to a sandstill. So he throws a freaking and nobody dodges. Okay, listen. Look at, take, take a look at your teammates right now. He then looks and he sees Ricky is about to be killed. And he sees Bernicki is also about to be killed. If you don't hand us over the girl, you're both of your teammates, you're gonna die. He says, dang it. He thinks to himself, I need, I, I, I need to do something that can benefit the song here. What do, what do I do? What do I do? Here I think some of us, both of his teammates are about to be killed. Simple. Give us the girl or they'll die. Unless you don't care about them. And it was just fine by me. I'll be happy to kill you myself. There's only one way I can do this. Take this. He didn't begin to do some hand signs. What? Water sow. Water wave. He didn't make some giant wave of water. What the heck? Take the girl and get out of here. They dodge water as it covers the entire forest with a water release attack. Attack, he wasn't any that what that no way that water appears should have killed them. Of course, he was holding back. He wasn't trying to get us, he was trying to save them. He didn't grab he didn't grab all of his teammates and he gets out of there. He then he then begins to run. Run. He gotta be kidding me. He got away. They can say, I swear, when I see him again, who cares about him? Let's just go. Fine. You see, then grabs the puppet. Why are you grabbing Amy's puppet? Nothing like a souvenir, right? They can take little Ricky, and they immediately begin to get back to the hidden, to their hideout. They begin to run to their master with the girl in tow. They hear run with him with the girl in tow because they see Uzumaki is actually working with the land of sky. Alright, work with us. Well, Professor was spread ahead and saying, you see, the reason she was with them is because she would have worked with them. They would crush all five great nations, but the hidden sand would be spared, according to them. Them, if I work with you, you have to promise you won't attack the hidden sand, the hidden sand will be spared. Yes, I am aware of that. They then take the hidden, the land scanners then takes with them, and both go into a room. Okay, you stay here until further assumption. Yes, and uh, meanwhile, back with Ricky, it appears that he summoned something, something. What was that? I don't know. Oh, whatever. I'll be right back. Meanwhile, back with Michael, Bernicki, and Ricky, he begins to check to see if they're alive. And he's pretty all wake up. Wake up. I'm glad to see you're okay. Dang it. I can't believe you let those dumb ninja catch up off guard. Michael says he punches the ground out of frustration. It's okay, Michael. No, it's not. Michael says, I swear, when I see those guys again, Michael thinks to himself, there's nothing we can do. The, the four of us combined are no match for them. Kira thinks to himself, right now we need to go back to the new village and go back to reinforcements. Suddenly, how do you feel about this, Ricky? The Ricky isn't responding. Ricky, suddenly Ricky transforms into little Ricky. Ricky's puppet. Oh no, he didn't. That idiot. They didn't immediately drop with a note to it. West uh, 48, Michael thinks to himself, of course, it's an address, we can find the enemy's base, this mission may have success yet, more like failure, for, for get reinforcement, we need to get Ricky first before he gets himself killed, Kira thinks to himself, they didn't begin, so they didn't begin to run, 
Meanwhile, Belko, uh, the ninja, the ninja comes back in. Suddenly, the puppet, Ricky's puppet, appears as if it's moving. Suddenly, it transforms. And it, it suddenly, suddenly, it begins to move its fingers. And the real Ricky then comes and grabs the ninja. Ha <laughs> ha, take that. But he says, he gets back up. You even think about moving, and your head's gonna come off. And suddenly, the yeah, it's two spikes in come around the puppet. You curse you, the ninja says. Don't worry, I came here to save you, Ricky says. All right, little Ricky, off with her head. Suddenly, she picks up the rock and knocks the Ricky out, taking him down. Guys, for I'm gonna kill this kid, that's what he tried to do. Suddenly, the other ninja then comes in. What's going on? They didn't look at Ricky. What the heck? How? So I'm gonna kill him. But suddenly, the other ninja then pulls the other land of Sky Ninja back. No, we can use him. They think to themselves, you, watch for him. Why do you need to keep him alive? Think about it. The other standings will come to see them. But when they do, we'll kill them all in one fell suit. Fine, they think to themselves. But leave Ricky to me. But leave this puppet user to me. I'm gonna kill him, they think to themselves. Meanwhile, back with the other ninja, they immediately arrive at the secret hideout. When they cross out of a vent. Meanwhile, back with freaking, he looks at the land, he looks at the ninja. You betrayed me? Which he says, I'm sorry, I did it for the sake of our village. The sake of our village, what do you mean? You're working with clowns like these? Which he says, I had no choice. They should have found their work with you. They would spare the hidden. They would spare the, the hidden sand village. You really believe them? Ricky says they'll probably kill us the second chance they get. That's all I need to hear. I need to hear. The freaking and releases Ricky. Michael immediately jumps up. Michael immediately hits her in the gut, taking her down. So she's a traitor, huh? I don't think he can hit her just yet. Ricky says I believe. I believe we can talk to her. We can get on our side. Ricky says. Who cares about this woman? She's a traitor. I say we leave this sack of garbage. Oh, Michael says, says maybe we need to take her to the hidden leaf sand sandals to question them. They think to themselves. Suddenly the door is in kicked out, and you're the lane of scatters in the bus room. I knew they come here. He gonna punch his cure the sensei up in the air, and he thought and he, and he goes to the roof. He then punches Kira back, punching him back. Bernie, get the girl out of here. Bert, yeah, yes, sir. He then takes the girl, puts her on the ground. Nature art. Sonic screen. She then breaks open the door, grabs the girl, and jumps out of there. There. Leave the puppet music to me. And me, you take care of the other kid. One of the kids then punch the Michael away. And he goes through a wall, taking him down. Down. And this won't go like last time you showed us by surprise. And she says, you're right, punk. You won't survive the next time. He didn't immediately attack his trouble things to his puppet. And suddenly the puppet does not have saw blades for hands. The saw blades and try to cut the 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 inner sky into over and over again. He begins to block all of the slices with a shuriken. He then used saw blades, he didn't appear saw blades on his feet. And then he immediately tries to hit the inside over and over again. Trying to hit it because he begins to block all of his hits with his shuriken. Eventually, he didn't try to hit him with the shuriken, but he begins to block all of it. He begins to spin around rapidly, and then he breaks the shuriken. Shuriken, he didn't try to hit him, but she dodged him. He then goes to him and tries to hit her again. Oh, she kicks little Ricky back, huh? You're pretty good, Michael says. I mean, little Ricky says. Little Ricky shoots the, the, the saw blades out, and she dodges the saw blades. This isn't going to be easy with that puppet of his. So the puppet that opens his mouth and shoots shuriken. And so... She dodges. Take this. Lightning Sal. She then knocks out Ricky, taking him down. She then pulls out a shirk and ready to kill him. Meanwhile, back with Michael. He fights the other land of Sky Ninja and they begin to fight. Right, she tries to punch Michael over and over again, but eventually she guards Michael. Michael kicks her back. Back. Take this. Deflective palm. He then uses deflective palm on her. And, and it ends up taking her down. But suddenly, you see, it gets back up. Revealing that her earth armor protected her. Earth Sal. Brass knuckles. She then tries to, Ricky tries to block the pussy, but it's too much. She then hits him in the summit, taking Ricky down. But she gets ready to kill him. Meanwhile, back with Jerry, he's still getting relentlessly soft on. And he gets punched the back. Prepare to die. Yeah, I don't see a chance against him. 
Water cell, water lift. He's gonna get some shrimp, he's gonna get some over and over again with the water lift. And, ev he, and eventually, he's gonna curse his, all of the walls. Water cell, wa water cell, condensed water. Suddenly, water begins to fill the entire room. And he pulls on the electrical wire. Dang it, he wasn't aiming for me. He was aiming for the wall to get our electrical wire. I think you know what's gonna happen next. You son of a dang hit the electrical wire with the water. The water that conducts your thinking and it takes all of the random scattering out. He then grabs his teammate, Ricky, little Ricky, and sells himself, and they immediately get out of there as he jumps to the building. They then begin to run away. Wait, we gotta get out of here. They then begin to run away. They didn't begin to run away and they go back in the forest. They got away. Yes, yes, sir. I'll find them. Kill them. You must not allow them to get word back to him Sanders. They found our hideouts. We need to kill them. Understood? Yes. Yes, sir. Meanwhile, back with our names for okay. Mike, okay. So that you have troops in the right side, Kerry says, yes, I'm going on two sides. It was foolish for me to trust the land of Skyrim to think that I should keep the word good. But they keep, keep them so I can see. Yes, sir. She then takes the door and they begin to run. Ricky, Michael, I have a solution. So what do we do? Look, normally under these circumstances, I will go back and call for enforcement. But we're on our own. We are? Yes. Now listen to me. Here's the plan. The plan? Yes. Okay, listen. We need to take them down, but first we should lay a trap. Our sole objective is to get them alone and split. Got it. Meanwhile, back with Land of Sky Ninja, they immediately arrive and they suddenly wound themselves up on a shit wire and multiple paper bombs in appear. Paper bombs in appear and all of them begin to shrug back. It worked. Ricky Michael, you take out the other girl. I'll handle that man. Got it. They didn't all trump with me or back with the ninja. He just back up. That's not gonna be enough to take me down. I yeah, yeah, I figured. He says, take this. Water sal, water wave. He didn't use some as a giant wave of water. You think this is enough to take me down? He didn't get all the water. How the chair gets back up and punches him back down. Now take this. He didn't get back into the water. You see, I am actually a sea tamer. I'm not that good at a water release food too. This is the compliment of my second ability. Then suddenly a bunch of leeches then come out of his body. Leeches, water cell, water, water ointment. Suddenly the water begins to turn to a cell that shows traps in the place. And the leeches move through it and they suck him dry. They suck the blood out of him, taking him down. He then falls to the ground, being a useless sick. And he falls to the ground, being a useless sick. Sick. The leeches didn't get back inside him. Ricky. Michael, it's up to you. Meanwhile, back with Michael and Ricky. Ricky. Alright, it's gonna take two of us to take her down. So you said she has some kind of rock-like armor? Ricky says, yes. Alright, I have this to drop for that. Just distract her. Michael then uses the fuck the palm on her, but she activates her earth armor. That's right, kid. But as long as I have this earth armor, you can't touch me. Right. Michael, little Ricky then takes his sword out of his mouth, and then he runs at the girl. He hits her. This sword is particularly designed to take out heavily constructed armor. The armor then pierces her arm, armor, and it completely shatters it. She throws the puppet back. Yet yeah, none. Do you think this is going to be enough to stop me? Probably not, Michael says. But you're wide open now. He didn't hit you with a destructive palm, taking her off. All right. You gotta go check on our sensei. Sensei. You took her out? Good. They then begin to run toward the ninja. And then we go back for when the other lane is scanning she then comes. Take this. Sonic Scream. She didn't use a sonic scream on the ninja, but the ninja then Yeah. Take this. Why they sell? She just shocks Brinky, taking her down. One, one of the land, the land of sky ninja should take, you know, take this. Mind warping jutsu. She then absorbs the flavor of how to seal through her mind, completely taking her down. <clears throat> the Ricky and Michael, and then Kira, then immediately arrive. Right, Michael, little Ricky immediately shoots Shurikin. You won't get away, Michael says. It hits her in the face, but it tends to be something too pretty. She's gone. Guys, she took the shield formula. All that matters is that you're safe. Now come on, we need to get out of here. Yeah, the battle is over, they think to themselves. 
and then to get ready to go back into the hidden leaf village. Finally. They then finally begin to go back to the hidden sand, to the hidden leaf village. Finally, we made it. I thought we'd never make it. They get back in. Ricky, is that you? Sup, David Sion. David Sion, long time no see. I thought I wouldn't see you for at least a minute. Michael says, good thing it was sooner. Am I right? Michael says, you know them, David Sion? Yeah, we were on a mission together. So is this the person I'm supposed to treat? Yes. Please save my baby. She then unseals the seal that was placed on Monte during this last battle. And he gets up completely fine. Well, she really is incredible, Kira thinks to herself. What an incredible medical ninja. Ninja. N ninja. Monte's father thinks to himself. She then hugs Monte so much. Thank you so much. And she thinks to herself, wow, I was really about to kill this whole family. I'm glad, I'm glad I decided, I'm glad I decided not to do what I was about to do with, the, with that dude to land in the sky. It may, yeah, she uh, hugs her son. Monte then walks to the door. <sighs> Alright, he'll be fine. He just needs some rest. He then opens the door to see almost all of his friends then come. I see this little surprise party for you, bro. And, and their parents are shocked. Shocked that Monte made all of these friends. I thought Monte was a big bully. Hmm. David Sion must have really changed his heart. They think to themselves. I even got Kaiman Squad to show up. We have come to celebrate your recovery, comrade. Caduce says. He says, good, good to know you're back. Angelica, is, uh, is that you? Um, Ricky thinks to him. So, yeah, it is. It, yeah, yeah, it is. Angelica says, so you came for your teammate's recovery, huh? Yeah, I, yeah, I did. Did, well, you think, you mind if I come over sometime? <laughs> Why would I care? Come over, Angelica says. And Amy and Tati look at Angelica with their eyebrows raised. Alright, well, alright, we have to go. You gotta be kidding me, we have to leave already? Ricky says, yes, we have to leave. We need to report back to Wolf Gar immediately. Uh, not, it was nice meeting you, uh, nice to meet you too, DC on squad says. Do you have a crush on him or something? Of course not. No way, you totally like him, Amy says. I do not. Yes, you do, Tati says. Oh, really? Oh, Dave Sian, shut up. Yeah, that's what I saw, Angelica says. Let's just celebrate our recovery anyway. Anyway, Ricky Squad then begins to go back to the Hidden Sand Village. Finally, oh. So, wait, you actually like that girl that we in the mission with? Michael says, what? No, of course not. What? No, of course not, Ricky says. Oh, it's just being polite, that's all. Ricky says, right. Michael thinks to himself, so, all right, enough, Charlie, too. We need to go back to the end. Lee Village. Meanwhile, back from Naruto, he punches the wall. I can't believe Mizuki is teaching little kids jutsu. That dangerous, Naruto says. Don't worry, Naruto. Sasuke. Sasuke says. Sasuke even thinks about it. Next time Mizuki attacks, I'm gonna have to kill Mizuki behind Naruto's back. And Naruto's mind. Naruto's regretting letting Mizuki live. And eventually, the Land of Sky Ninja then comes back with her duty fulfilled. She then tells them that they have the Shilling Jutsu formula good. Our plan to destroy the Hidden Leaf is closely at hand. The end to be continued.